Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another War of the Visions video, and it's dark, it's early, it's Tuesday morning. We've got some War of the Visions news to get to, so let's jump right in. Some stuff we knew from the live stream, some stuff we didn't know, and a really, really good campaign going on, actually. It's something we've never had before, and I hope it's something that's pointing towards the future. It's a small thing, but I'll show you. So anyway, we do have our new unit, Oberon the Auspicious, coming out for Lunar New Year. We knew he was coming based on the live stream that just happened a couple nights ago. We still don't know what his full kit looks like. We won't know that until Thursday morning, but then we are also getting between Hope and Despair the Vision card, and we're getting a Raid Vision card this week. So two Vision cards, one of them's free, and new Oberon coming this week. All right. Here we go. Let's scroll through this. Here's what we know about Oberon so far. Main job, Blade of Dawn with Dragoon and Paladin sub jobs. His limit break is a uh, chain, like a sequence attack. So it removes all buffs from target within range, then deals large damage with guarantee to hit. That triggers a sequential ability. So Bless Dragon's Blitz. This is Blitz. This is the first part of it. Lowers area attack resist of targets within range for three turns, then deals two hit damage medium and lower slash magic attack resist piercing rate for three turns and sequentially activates Bless Dragon's auspices. That's this one right here. Raises allies slash magic resist for three turns. So, okay, pretty cool right here. You've got a damage dealing move and then it activates this sequential ability which is an aoe lowering attack and a buff a slash and magic resist buff so it looks like a powerful limit break and it feels to me like this guy's gonna be pretty good we've had um decent lunar new year's units in the past i would never call them op so we'll see how oberon lands in our game this time then between hope and despair this is a new vision card this is a hollow vc that you're gonna have to pull for this is not the free raid vision card this is Sword Red Mage, Sword Warrior, and Sword Knight equipable main jobs. I really like it when they make those classes all combine into one card. I wish there was just sword, and I understand there's too many sword units in the game to just give them all access to all the sword vision cards, but sometimes I want to run my Lucio with my Squall with my Elena or something like that for some reason, but it's harder to do that when they're like two of them are sword red mage and one of them sword knight. This, however, is for all of them and it's really good. So slash attack up, slash attack resist piercing rate up, unit attack resist up and critical critical evade up. I really, okay, so like when you look at unit resist up, that's obviously kind of a must have in team building. I really love seeing that paired with slash attack resist piercing rate up because man, oh man, if you're running these uh, sword using units, you're gonna want your slash attack piercing rate up. So I think this is a great card. If you use those units, this could be something to look to pull, even if you're skipping Oberon this week. Bestowed effect, attack up, AOE resist up, and then the global upgrade, Lucio Light of Brilliance gets max HP up. Your vision max Mastery ability is for guild battles only, max HP 3%, attack 3%, so another little buff if you pull it for them. Then, perfect production line you are. This is the vision card that you will get by beating the level 5 rare raid boss, and you'll be able to farm this thing up for free. It's Sword Knight again, Axe, Fist, Katana equipable main jobs, Magic Resist up, Attack up, Dex up, and then Acquired AP up only for quests. So this right here, this is definitely not as like OP as some of the other ones, but it is an attack up card. And depending on what this attack up stat is, we'll look at that in the... Um, you know, we'll look at that in the uh, preview video coming out tomorrow. This could be very useful for some PvE situations. And if you're a new player or you just don't have a bunch of vision cards for these job types, it's free. It's completely free to farm and get, so you might as well do it. Bestowed effect is attack and invasion up. And then for quests only, you'll get missile attack resist three and acquire JP up 25%. I kind of, that's cool, I guess. JP is not really a problem anymore, but I do think that's neat. Then we get the usual addition of, you know, shards uh, for all the new stuff being added to the shops and to the Chocobo expedition for Oberon. Next, we've got the Lunar New Year 2024 login bonus. There's a lot going on here a lot of stuff mostly it looks crowded because of the inclusion of these tickets so we get those lucky summon tickets every day we've had these in the past you get it's not for like shards or new units necessarily it's for just fun random things that are just nice to have so you'll get some of those every day you'll be able to do some of those lucky sub and pulls as well as getting your oberon shards your yo know, burst core enhancements the regular stuff also on there then jp exp and item drop triple campaigns 
from the daily quest and the far plane archives so a really good week to farm anything you missed in the far plane archives because triple drops gonna help that a bunch again if you're a new player highlight this right here and then daily quest hey that's nice that's guild chamber now guild chamber not unlocked all week but a very very good weekend to farm the guild chamber on max guild chamber farming days with triple drops activated right there okay between hope and despair vision card hard quest will have triple drops because that's going to be uh it's not limited so it'll be added to the hard quest list which is always nice and then here's my favorite one guild gift campaign times 24 i guild medals are something i can always spend a whole bunch of those and friend medals so times 24 means um it's, it's a lot we're gonna get a lot of guild medals 24 worth 24 days worth every day in fact so a month's worth of guild medals every day which is pretty dang neat and i think i read that right right like yeah guild gift metal times 24 yep that is what that is anyway okay then regular stuff with the shards again just like with oberon acquisition time have for him excuse me oh. Oh. in the barracks he'll have acquisition time have for his shards which is always nice and i always feel more awake after i get that big yawn in but i have to talk for a while first okay here's your raid um koshi the raid boss here he is let's check out his stats real fast the raid is going to be running from the 8th, which is Thursday, to the 14th. So from the 8th till Valentine's Day. So you have to grind this thing out on Valentine's Day. Instead of taking your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend out for a date, you got a raid to grind. And you've probably been putting it off. And so you're not going to be able to go out. You're going to have to do this. And that's just too bad. Okay, here he is. He's lightning element, so he's weak to strike. So he's weak to earth strike. I wonder if there's an earth strike unit that we've got recently that hmm, has two in the name. Yeah, gonna be two P's gonna be perfect for this. Rare raid boss Adam is wind element, weak to slash. These usually aren't a problem for whoever you have that can beat this. And you'll get initial AP up 30 on the map, which is a big help. So there we go. Here's your bonus units. A2, 2P, and Lucio Light of Brilliance are your large bonus units. Your uh, old collab units are medium bonuses. And then here you see the rest of the medium bonus list. It's pretty big. Here's your small bonus list as well. Again, with the raid, you only get your largest bonus. So you can run just 2P and get all the bonus. You don't stack these in raids. That's not how raids work. Here's your bonus vision cards. A2 the deserter is your large multiplier. And then your medium multiplier is going to be between hope and despair, new year's banquet or perfect production line. That is actually the farmable one. And then mighty obstacle or Ochu will be your small, um, wait my a mighty obstacle vigorous vegetation oh two that's one card that's your small bonus card there okay we will get the vision card for being the rare boss we will get there it is right there and then here's the gear that we get the black box so we'll check that out in the preview video as well be able to farm black box i imagine it'll be really good for the near units i honestly haven't looked at it yet there's shards from the nightmare difficulty quest you'll be able to farm that to get shards for the new vc and then here we'll get equipment training quest for Dragon Talon, which will be Oberon's new weapon. So a lot of farming to do this week in the game. Okay, unit updates of plus six equipment. Who's getting updated this week? Transcendence for Oberon, uh, the new Oberon, more the merrier, and Resnick the Hoppy. So your Lunar New Year's units getting that Transcendence this week, going to 140. Uh, Itty Bitty Bunny Blade gets its plus six. That's the only gear getting upgraded. Limit Burst Enhancements for more the merrier. Resnick the Hoppy, Hoppy Mashery, Horn, Ketone, and Old Doa. So a little sneaky update for regular old Mashery. Ketone and Old Doa sliding in this week. And then Resnick's getting her Master Ability too, since she didn't already have it yet vision card list gets updated for the new jobs and cards and that is the news for this week so thank you all for watching have a good one and i'll catch you next time peace